So Stuart, tell me what you do here. Uh, uh, here? Yeah, yeah. I'm the gardener, I'm the, what else? I'm the uh, bloody uh, jack of all trades and master of none. I've got, I've, uh, I think you're a museum cur curator. That's yeah, what, uh, well, I've got most of this stuff working here. Uh, yeah, and yeah, what, what, yeah. what, so you're collecting stuff, uh, farm heritage from around the district? Oh, yeah, we got a lot of different stuff, eh? Hey? Uh, we got farm gear, we got... Uh, and uh, or everything like that, you know, we got a drover's wall over there for the old drovers. Yeah. And up inside uh, where the girls set up years ago, it's got all the history of the footballers and That's right. all that sort of stuff. Because so, uh, you grew up on a farm, so you know. No, how no, to, no. Did you not? No. Oh. I'm a street kid. Oh, I see. So how I did was you... a drover. Oh, you were. Yeah. So, how did you figure out how how to fix and make all this stuff? Is that? Just... Oh, well, just through age. Uh, so you're just yeah. a practical guy. Yeah. That, that yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. And you're passionate about keeping this all oh, stuff yes. going. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Real. Yeah. And yeah. do you quite often have folk coming through that are um I just just what 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 they're interested in? Is oh like... well, they're interested in anything that uh, is running now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I find uh, since I've been here. Yeah. Like I got that old ambulance uh, that we've got out there yeah. uh, running and uh, I've got the old sleeper puller where well, they were railway stuff, see? Oh, yeah, yeah. And the old ambulance used to run down to Yarrika and wherever the railway line went in the wet weather yep. and they couldn't get out in the car well it's running there now and you've got some diesel engines running the, the paddle wheel and things over oh, there no 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 that's what's not that? diesel oh, no, down yeah. there what's that that's mule power oh <laughs> i've got right. a white mule yeah oh, yes, oh and it walks it. around and yeah and it walks around the horse works uh -huh. there probably the only white mule doing it in the country <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so uh oh, yeah so, no so that, you have to keep is it a boy or a girl you have to keep girl. Her, a girl you have to keep her going do you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 she's like all teenagers sometimes they're good and sometimes they're bad <laughs> yeah but i'll tell you who i have got in the shed there yeah yeah is major mitch Oh yeah! Did yeah, yeah. you see the major? I have. He's and he looks well built. He's, yeah, a, he's, he's yeah, a strapping, the... strapping soldier, right? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So he um, was the pioneer, was he? Right? Yeah, yeah. He covered a lot of this country. So they tell me. See, there used to be a bloody million sheep around this area here yeah. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. What were the big properties? Who, who used to? Oh hear them? well, I'd say Malvern Hills. Uh, Northampton was a real big place, and Ravensbourne. Yeah, and you, Alice, you've Alice Downs. I've, Alice Downs, I've heard of that one. Yeah, and you, you've collected some of the the gear off these. Oh farms, yeah, 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 yep, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The uh, see Walkers and uh, well, it's Gillespie now, mm -hmm. which was used to be Northampton. Well, they've been very good to me. Yeah, yeah. The younger generation, and they've given me a uh, fair bit of stuff and oh, that, okay. uh, but. Most of the people around here are uh, really good to me. Yeah, they just bring in, when they see something old in the no, shed, they No, you think, just yeah. bring them up and ask them, can I go out and have a look through their dumps? Yeah, yeah. And uh, if they've oh. got something hanging on the wall, they'll give it to me, but uh, that's okay. if they don't want to keep it for their own. Like a lot of them now are getting into their own sort of music. Yeah, and having oh, a bit of a they've collection. they've got their own little, little thing in the yard. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the... Uh, well, you want to keep the history, don't you? you oh, keep well, it, yeah. this here, this black hole, if someone ever comes along with tourism, and because uh, we've got that much history here, yeah. there's that much history here that's never been touched. Yeah. There's that, you yeah, know. But it's, and it's, just, it's just making sure it doesn't get good to rust or... Or end up in well, the dump. Well, it or, usually or... won't rust here. They bury it. Yeah, that's the problem. Bloody loaders were the... Oh, I used to be a loader driver, <laughs> but the loaders buggered the... Oh, really? Yeah. Well, they take the stuff and just dig a hole. Yeah, and... Dig a hole and bury uh, it, see? Yeah. 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 Now, you're, now you're doing the opposite. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you're digging yeah. it up and yeah. it's treasure. Well, I know when I first started on the loader and I wasn't sort of into this stuff and then halfway through my life on the loader, I got interested in it mm -hmm. and uh, then uh, i got that much bloody i got a museum of my own up at my place oh, yeah. <laughs> because uh before i got the job here you 
keep all the best stuff up there. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Uh, whatever I got before I got the job here is still up there. Yeah. But if I go out onto a station during the week uh, and uh, the stuff comes here, but if I'm scrounging around somewhere down around Toowoomba or anything and I buy something of that, it goes up to my place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep. And how can folk get hold of you? Where, how, what, you, you just, what, what's your number? What's your name? How, how would someone yeah, get hold Stuart, of you? Stuart Benson. Stuart Benson. The address is 30 Rose Street, Blackhall. Yep. And the phone number is 0428 five seven four one three one great okay yeah. we'll send this out to, through the internet and hopefully someone will come and find you and tell your story okay yes and we need them all to come to uh black Hall at the moment yeah yeah because we need all the tourists okay. we got a good uh camp area down on the uh baku river there yeah. close to town you can walk up to the iga up to the coffee shop or the grocery shop or the chemist yeah, yeah. Only about a half a stubby away it is. <laughs> so you can walk up there. Yeah. Oh, that's a new measure of distance that yeah, I've heard. I yeah, like that measure. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. We like to talk about things in Scotland, yeah, like uh, the size of whales or uh, half a stubby. That's a new Half measure. a stubby, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if it's a blazing hot day, it's a full stubby away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, well, it's not real, but. There's beautiful hot and cold showers up the where okay. you go past too, see? Yeah, yeah. And that water in there is straight off the dinosaur's back. Oh, of course. Yeah, You've got a thermal there. here as well. Oh, it's the best bloody aquatic centre in Australia uh, up there, and that's not being one-eyed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a it's like a full hot Victorian holiday town. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. People in uh, the old days would have paid a pretty penny to come out to Blackhall, I think, and oh, yeah. bathed in the warm waters. Yeah, and, yeah. Yep, yep. When uh, we were kids, the we had a uh, thermal pool way back then mm -hmm. because the boar used to run into three big water holes just down. Be uh, near the bore there, yeah, and the, with the boat hole, the blue hole, and the warm hole, yeah. And we used to swim there winter and summer. Oh, and are any of them too, too hot to actually go in? Uh, are they? Are they always? Are they? Are any of them so hot that you can't no, actually put no, your toe in? No, they're, no, they're just yeah. they're just the right temperature to yeah. have. Uh, Sulfury? Sulf uh, smell of sulfur? No, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, bloody beautiful. Uh, it is. Uh, the only thing you've got to be careful of. It's uh, sometimes a bit of brown stuff will come down through the tap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's only the dinosaur pee hasn't mixed in with the water. Ah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, Stuart, thank you. <laughs> and an old cocky bought it in the other day. They wouldn't, they were that loud. You haven't got the rule. <laughs> <laughs> what were you about to say to <laughs> An old cocky brought it in. Yeah. Oh, bought them in the other day, see? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's a brand new... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, look at that needle. Bloody yeah. hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see? It's yeah. a nice old syringe, right? Uh, is that oh, an yeah. NJ? I bet you it's an NJ Phillips, is it? Oh, I don't know. Have a look oh, in the, the box. You're the... Uh, that's... Oh, a repeater. A repeater. Oh, no, Melbourne, yeah. Adelaide. I've not heard of the Wilmo decision. There we go. Yeah, yeah. beautiful, yeah. Yeah, as you say, hardly used. Never used. Never one. used. Yeah. No. Nah. And good. see, this drenching gun... Yeah. <laughs> have a look at this. <laughs> now... You're, I'm using you because you can read and write, I can't. Uh, Have a look on that. Ve veterinary yeah. instrument, automatic drenching. Bainbridge. Bainbridge Brothers, Melbourne, Victoria. Do you know Bainbridge is still going? Is it? Yeah, yeah. And this is the gun. Yeah. yeah. See, it's never been used. Oh, there you go. Good. Lovely. And, and, and this is where hours. they used to put the drenching. Of course. Yeah, okay, sure. yeah, yeah. See? And you got your yeah, short sure, tube connecting to yeah. it. Yeah, but see the cap on it. Yeah, it's like a radiator bloody it's cap, cap, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just the same. Uh, yeah, and it looks a bit pretty yellow in there. Or, or yeah, something. well, it could have been mustard gas now it's made in the day. A wire out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. And I don't tell them. No. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the major. Look at oh, that. That's the major. There he is. There he is. Yeah. Oh, right. Made made by your fair hand, I hear. Uh, is this you, you made by your fair hands? Yes, yeah, yeah. and a friend of mine made the head. Right, okay. Yeah, a mate of mine made the head. If you just think, look at how tough his hands are. His hand, his 
is made out of barbed wire. Pistol grass. So. Is it pistol grass? Is it named after him? No, I'm only with the big explorer. And this is just a tiny bit of Stuart's collection. He's got all these outdoor machines and uh, a bit of everything. And the sheds here, he's got uh, he's got all these old ambulances and fire engines. A lot beautiful fire engine here. And then all this old landmarking equipment, tractors. There you go, look at that. No one's ever seen a landmarking cradle like that in the modern day. Wool presses. And then the bits that I'm interested in. There's all the old gear, mules and shears, shearing, pliers. Play and he's made his own blacksmith's area over here. So plenty to see, quite a guy. Yes, so what, what remind us what remind me what this is just what's this, this here, it's an arsenic getting rice the yeah, arsenic yeah uh, uh, is, and you put your foot on is that is that because it's got something to do with arsenic or because it's to do with the arses yes. <laughs> a bit of both here, yeah you put your foot on there and that'll go forward yeah that brings that forward you, you turn that around you yeah. hit that lever here yeah and that had hit him up the clacker. See, you watch the water come out. Just yeah. watch your camera. Ah, there we go. <laughs> uh, uh, hit me up there. Yeah, see that there? Uh, uh, it's a bd for a seat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. And then the boys in here, see? It'll only go straight up in there. Just yeah. keep it back All there right. a bit. Do I don't want to get your thing locked. Oh, there we go. See? Yeah, yeah. That's to get the boys around the pizzle. Yeah, yeah. yeah and see? that kept the wool clean, did it? And stopped the oh, flies. Yeah. Stopped the flies, kept the wool yeah. clean. Yep. There yep. you go. Yeah, no, so, a kind of B day cleaning machine for sheep. It also cleans visitors. Um, I think he's had a bit of fun with that over the days. And how often does she does she go out a run out on it? Oh no, she just goes around uh, and around there and uh, that pumps the water up and into the trough. See, out with the old uh, pump jack there. See? Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I haven't got the uh, bloody uh, chaff cutter or that hooked up. See. Yeah. But the pump jack works and the. Circular saws over there, see? Oh, yeah, you've got a tire on it to stop yeah. the kids oh, cutting well, their fingers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very nice. Yeah, no, that's all good, eh? Good, oh, it'll be great to see it, and I'm sure that provides a bit of uh, entertainment for the kids to watch it all. Oh, uh, yeah, that, a lot of people are interested, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that, but uh, no, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, yep. this, this is funded a little bit by the council. And oh, that's... the council own this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I, I'm still working for the council. Yeah, and they, yeah. And they, and they keep it up and running, which is yeah. great. Yep, yeah. yep, Just yep. need to no, keep, they, keep that all going. They yeah. supply me with what I want and uh, and to keep it all going for the town, eh? Yeah, great. Because we got one of the better towns in the West. <laughs> that's not one eye. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you've got the most famous shearer in the country, I think, by yeah. the sounds of things. Yeah. Yeah, what's yep. uh, He sounded like... I Jackie couldn't believe, Howe. I couldn't believe the size of the man. He oh, was, big man, he eh? Was, back in that, and back in those days, you wouldn't, he was over 100 kilos, I think. Yeah, 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 but oh, Jesus, there was there were some bloody big shearers about then. Yeah. I, swear. I know, a big old fella, Billy Hillier, he was here for years. Mm -hmm. The bastard must have been seven foot tall. <laughs> And the, he'd shear 200 a day back it's, then with the narrow combs. Yeah, yeah. And you he know? and he and were the sheep bigger then or smaller? Were they? Oh, I think them big red-eyed weathers what they used to get out at Vine Tree and that off that buffalo grass, eh? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, yeah. They used to look over the rails over th at the shearers. Yeah. The oh, shearers, a, oh <laughs> they were that high. Right. Then, so you needed the, a big shearer to handle them. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. A bloke by the name of Robin Hood used to own Vine Tree back then. Oh, Oh, really? In the 60s uh, and the 50s. Did he like to take a pretty penny from the rich? No, no, he, he was a good fella. Okay, yeah. yeah well, no. Robin Hood was a good fella too. But... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this fella was a good fella, oh, right? right yeah. And he, he uh, went down around Glamary, and I've never seen him since. About 1968, he went down there. Oh, okay. Right. And I've never uh, seen old Hoodie since. And so he was a shearer, was he? No, no, yeah, he so owned so... Vine Tree Station. Oh, oh right, a big station, did yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, and so uh, they used to have some of these yeah. shearers out there, didn't they? Oh, yeah, but they were some of the 
Him and they tell me I'll, uh, well, I'll be which they tell me was the buffalo grass king around here. Mm -hmm. He sort of, I think he bought it out here further, but Robin's uncle or whatever was Dave McWilliams. Mm -hmm. And old Dave, he always reckoned that he bought the buffalo grass to Black Hole. Oh, ah, right, okay. yeah, But Dave McWilliams was a very good fella. They tell me in the war years, he used to run a buck jump show down the street there for the Red Cross and that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Keeps and that, that. Yep. No, keeps it a lot of, lot of history. Yeah. Here. Oh, kids. Right. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.